Archbishop Timothy Dolan clearly has acknowledged that the sexual abuse scandals that have sort of metastasized in the American church for the last decade represent the most serious crisis in American Catholic history, period. Uh, and further, he would add to that, they ain't over. I mean, there are a lot of people who talk about the church getting up off the mat, about turning a corner, about seeing light at the end of the tunnel. Dolan is not one of them. I mean, he acknowledges that in many ways the church has only begun to try to repair the damage of the scandal, and it's probably going to be a challenge that will be with it, not just for this generation, but for two or three generations down the line. I think what he would want to say uh, to the average Catholic in the pew who would ask him, how the hell did this happen? First thing he would say is he's not sure himself. I mean, you know, he's read the case files, he's studied the history. He himself will tell you he is not sure how bishops could have looked at reports of guys who were serially abusing children and not reacted more aggressively than they did. So I think he himself would say that he has unanswered questions. But he would add to that, I think, that today the church is in a much different place than it was even a decade or two, different, uh, two decades ago, that today there is a crystal clear commitment to zero tolerance for anyone who would abuse a child, whether that person is a priest or an employee of the church in some other capacity. Uh, and third, I think uh, he would say that he is open to conversation with anyone who has a view uh, about what the church needs to do to recover uh, from, from, from this cancer uh, that, uh, that has festered within it for so long. That is, I, I, I don't think he would pretend himself to have a comprehensive answer uh, to what all of this means. I think he would admit that what he needs to do and what other bishops need to do is an enormous amount of listening uh, and further, an enormous amount of praying, uh, an enormous amount of atonement uh, in many ways, uh, to try to be able to lead the church forward.